it's uh, <clears throat> I wouldn't say it's the first, but what we are seeing is a, a real increase in the in the needle sensing that's been found in programs in recycling programs as as well as clean up programs, eh? which is uh, very worrying, um, especially from the essence of how we are handling this from a recycling perspective, and you know our our staff. And, uh, and advocates were involved in cleanup campaigns, but also the, um, the essence of how much um, substance abuse um, and issues around that is, uh, 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 you know, uh, affecting our society at this stage. It's, it's coming from all different uh, re recycling programs. Some of it is through, uh, you know, educational sectors. Some of it is through community programs and, and various other programs, which is also very worrying. Uh, because uh, it seems to be an issue all around um, and from us as recycling advocates but, but as, as well as you know citizens who are very concerned about the social issues uh, because we are seeing this not just affect the recycling programs but also the vulnerable communities that we work with the different sectors that we work with um, our our plea would be that um, referral pathways gets created, uh, referral agencies, and and a very strong support structure gets created, uh, because we are like we say we are in a waste management crisis. But more than that, we are also in a very severe uh, drugs and substance abuse crisis in this country, and we need to address it rather than just talking about it and creating awareness. Uh, it's the same as waste management and recycling programs. It's one thing to talk about issues and awareness, but another to do anything about it or to implement something um, that deals with that. So here in waste management spaces, we are implementing programs to address waste management issues, not just talking about it. In the substance abuse space and drugs abuse space, that's what's needed. We need to actually now create pathways that assist uh, society and members who are affected by this but it is the severity of it is very worrying from us uh, when we look at our recycling programs uh, and seeing what uh, what we are gathering in recyclables huh? it will it's definitely like for example within our program when we talk about uh, waste management and recycling it's never the top of priority so whenever we go into communities we have to take expert partners when it's domestic violence or or issues around human rights, then we've got Fiji Women's Crisis Centre. When it's health, we've got health specialists who are able to provide that. Uh, when it's uh, financial literacy, legal literacy, different agencies come forward. The issue around substance abuse is we are unable to identify who is the expert, who actually is going to be the, the expert, the group that's going to run this agency and be able to provide not just awareness, but the end-to-end the -end solution around it. And that's what's missing. We, we just don't, yes, we, we see a desperate need to include this in our training programs, but we really need stakeholders to come forward and identify themselves as the experts in this space. And that's not, uh, we are unable to identify that at this stage.